Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get rich golden skin tones in Photoshop. You can also use this technique to tan the skin. This is a little bit different from the um, how to get amazing skin tones video that I did recently. Almost the same technique, but I'm just going to be a little bit more specific in this one. And this works perfectly with black skin tones. I haven't tried it on any white models yet because you just don't run across white models in Nigeria. But anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button right there so that you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. Also, comment below and like this video, share with anybody. And with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Like I said, this is very simple and very straight. If you have an image like mine and you have a lot of reds in your image like this, all you have to do is reduce the saturation of the image in general at first. So I'm just going to come to here and saturation by clicking my adjustment button right here. <laughs> or I'll come to layer, then new adjustment layer, and I'm just going to come to hue saturation. Yes, let's do it that way. Click OK. I'm just going to reduce the saturation of this image to, let's just say, minus 20. Yeah, 19, 20. Yeah, anyone's fine. Then I'll come down here, create a new adjustment layer, and that's going to be gradient maps. Now, once you open your gradient maps, you might not see this or you might see this, but once you click on the stripe right here, you'll probably not see this, um, all these gradients that are here, and that's because yours is set to the default, which is going to be color harmony. So let me just go back to the default. All you have to do is click this settings icon right here and come down to photographic toning. Then you click OK. Once you've done that, look for gold 2, which is right here. You can see name gold 2. That's right here. That's what I use. Then click OK. Once you click that, come down to your gradient maps layer and go to your blend modes and go down to soft light. See? Easy peasy. Wonderful golden skin tones right here. But we're not done. Reduce your opacity so it's not too much. So somewhere around 40 seven works for me with this image yeah i like it skin's really golden i'm just going to be a little bit extra so you guys can really see the effect so after this what i'll do is i'll mask off the golden effect from her eyes and her teeth because we don't want uh, my eyes and her teeth to be yellow i guess <laughs> and you know how um adjustment layers and masking works so if the mask is white that means everything is going to show and if the mask is black that means nothing is going to show so I'm just going to pick a brush, make sure my opacity is 100, flow is 100. Nice soft brush, hardness is zero. And I'll make sure my brush is set to black. So that means my foreground is black. I'm now just going to zoom into my image and clean this of her eyes. Then right here too. Right here too. Then I'm just going to take this out of her teeth too. And that's about it. So yeah, let's look at this effect and see how beautiful this image looks now. So this, I'm going to put this two in a group, which is Command G or Control G on PC and name it Gold, Golden Skin. I guess that works. Okay, so let's look at our before and our after. Before and after, you get that rich, golden skin tone you get that tan in the image and it just looks really great so guys this is the tutorial i'll show you guys the before and after again before after like i told you guys very simple and straight to the point if you want to go the extra mile by masking it out to some places you can do that you can also reduce your opacity just to reduce the effect or increase the opacity maybe you want to be extra creative and just you know make it very very obvious but whatever you want to do this is it and i hope this helps somebody out there thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so you can be one of the first people to receive notifications every time i put up a new video also like share this video and comment below let me know what you think about this new technique and how it's going to help you improve your retouching thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day peace